When people come into the museum now, they're, they're going to see some things that are very, very different than anything they've seen in the Bean Museum before. It's a beautiful place to come to. When you come into the east entrance, which is now our main entrance, you see columns. The artistic quality of the expansion really shows that this is a museum now. Our theme on the third floor of the museum is uh, top predators. Uh, we're actually using some remarkable displays that were put together by George Brimhall from the Phoenix area. We're trying to d display things that would, could very well happen in nature and do it in a way that is not only beautiful and informative, but also spectacular. The Morris Bird Space provides us with a great opportunity to engage with our patrons and allow them to see the, the beauty of God's creatures. The gallery to honor President Packer is named in his honor. He has over a thousand pieces of artwork, all of which are now here in the museum. When you look at uh, President Packer's artwork, it becomes very clear that he's a very talented artist. He had a real commitment to detail that was accurate, but presented in a, in a beautiful way in terms of his artistic side. Uh, he has often used specimens from the museum to help with his artwork. He loves and appreciates and is able to communicate through his artwork the beauty of God's creatures. There are nine research quality collections in the museum that support the teaching and research functions of the museum. And we've added three teaching spaces. We teach lots of classes in connection with the research collections to our own BYU students. But then we also have 50 to 60,000 school children from across the state that come and visit the museum on an annual basis. And so a lot of our educational material is actually geared right around the Utah Science curriculum core standards. Our live animal shows have always been the feature to the museum. People love to come and see the animals. See, look, she's got her eyes right there, those little dots. So the live animals are, are really, truly a signature part of the museum's education programming. The theme of the museum, Protect Your Planet, has a scriptural foundation where the Lord declares that He's the creator, that we are the stewards, and we have a responsibility to take care of all of His creatures.